Did you know that stepping outside your comfort zone can be the key to unlocking your true potential? If you want to achieve lasting growth and fulfillment in your life, you need to embrace discomfort and face your fears head on. In today's fast-paced world, many of us fall into the trap of staying within familiar boundaries, avoiding challenges that could lead to incredible transformation. But here's the truth. The most profound growth often happens when we confront the very things that scare us. Whether it's pushing through the initial discomfort of a new experience or recognizing and addressing toxic relationships, every step outside our comfort zone invites us to learn, evolve and thrive. In this journey, we'll explore practical strategies rooted in stoic principles that empower you to embrace discomfort push past limitations, and engage with modern challenges mindfully. Get ready to transform not just your mindset, but your entire approach to personal growth. Let's dive in. Number 1. Setting goals and partnering for progress. Have you ever felt that rush of excitement when you set a new goal? Whether it's planning a dream vacation, embarking on a fitness journey, or simply wanting to learn a new skill, the initial spark can fill you with joy and motivation. You can picture it the anticipation of achieving something meaningful, the thrill of the journey ahead. However, as the days turn into weeks, that initial excitement often fades, replaced by uncertainty and doubt. You might start to wonder, am I really capable of reaching this goal? This is where the wisdom of ancient philosophy can guide us, offering a beacon of hope amid our modern struggles. Reflecting on your past, think back to a time when you set a goal that meant the world to you. Perhaps it was getting that promotion at work, or finally completing a challenging project. Remember the late nights you spent planning, and the early mornings filled with determination. Those moments are filled with nostalgia, reminding us of our capacity to strive for something greater. Yet, it's easy to forget those feelings when faced with obstacles. The Stoics teach us to harness that nostalgia, not just as a memory, but as a tool for inspiration. When we remember our past achievements, we can reignite that passion, driving us to take action once more. As you contemplate your goals, Consider the power of sharing your journey with someone you trust. Picture this, you have a friend who believes in you, cheering you on, helping you stay accountable. This partnership can transform your experience, turning what could be a solitary struggle into a shared adventure. Imagine the conversations, the brainstorming sessions, and the laughter as you tackle challenges together. This collaborative spirit can foster not just a sense of camaraderie, but also a deeper understanding of what truly matters to you. By inviting others into your goal-setting process, you create a supportive environment that can uplift and motivate you, turning aspirations into reality. Number two, confronting digital habits with stoic reflection. In today's digital age, scrolling through our phones or browsing social media has become a part of our daily routine. There's a certain comfort in it, a momentary escape that can make us feel connected and entertained. Remember the laughter you shared while watching a funny video or the joy of discovering a new recipe that inspired you to cook. These small moments of happiness can easily turn into hours lost in a digital haze. It's an amusing contrast. What starts as a harmless distraction can morph into a source of stress and anxiety, leading us to question our values and priorities. As we dive deeper into the reality of our digital habits, it's important to reflect on how they align with our true selves. Nostalgia strikes again when we think about simpler times, before the era of constant notifications and digital distractions. Think back to when we spent hours with friends, engaged in deep conversations, or enjoyed nature without the need for a filter. Those moments are precious, serving as a reminder of what truly matters, connection, presence, and mindfulness. The Stoics understood the importance of examining our actions, 
encouraging us to pause and consider whether our digital engagement truly serves our values and goals. So, how do we break free from the grips of mindless scrolling? The answer lies in intentionality. Picture yourself taking a moment before reaching for your device you pause and ask, is this aligning with my values? This small act of reflection can shift your perspective and spark curiosity about your habits. What if, instead of mindlessly consuming content, you used your digital time to learn something new, connect with loved ones, or engage in a hobby? Imagine the possibilities. By shifting your focus, you can transform your digital experience into a tool for growth and self-discovery, leading you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your goals. Number three, silencing self-doubt. Through inner strength, self-doubt can feel like an unwelcome companion lurking in the shadows of our minds, whispering harsh critiques just when we need encouragement the most. Remember the thrill of embarking on a new adventure, whether it was starting a new job or trying something completely outside your comfort zone. That initial excitement often gets overshadowed by the nagging voice that questions our abilities. It's relatable. Everyone has faced those moments when we think, who do I think I am to pursue this? The happiness of a new beginning can quickly turn into the weight of self-doubt, stifling our courage to act. As we explore this journey of self-doubt, nostalgia can remind us of our past triumphs. Think back to those instances when you surprised yourself by overcoming challenges. Maybe you faced a difficult exam or navigated a tough conversation, only to emerge stronger and more confident than before. These memories can serve as powerful reminders that you have the strength within you to tackle your current doubts. The Stoics teach us that our perceptions often create more suffering than the situations themselves. By recalling moments of resilience, we can challenge the narratives of self-doubt that hold us back. To combat self-doubt, it's essential to practice self-compassion. Picture a close friend sharing their fears with you. Would you respond with kindness or criticism? We often extend grace to others while being harsh on ourselves. Allow yourself to embrace that same compassion. Acknowledge your feelings without judgment and ask yourself, what would I say to a friend in my position? This shift in perspective can ignite curiosity about the roots of your self-doubt. Why do you feel this way? What evidence contradicts those fears? By exploring these questions, you can begin to dismantle the barriers self-doubt erects, transforming uncertainty into a foundation for growth and self-discovery. Number four, facing fears, embracing courage over paralysis. Fear is a universal experience. It creeps into our lives at the most unexpected moments, often paralyzing us with its grip. Picture a time when you hesitated to speak up in a meeting or put off pursuing a dream because the weight of what-ifs became too heavy. At first, the feeling of fear can be all-consuming, making us question our capabilities and the decisions we face. The initial emotion might be a shared laughter about how we all face our fears, but as we dive deeper into the reality of fear, it can evoke a more sobering nostalgia for the moments we let opportunities slip by. Nostalgia in this context can be bittersweet. Remember the times you took risks, perhaps you traveled alone for the first time, or you reached out to someone you admired only to discover a shared passion or connection. Those moments are marked by courage, a stark contrast to the feelings of doubt that often hold us back. The ancient Stoics taught us that fear is not the enemy, rather. It's our reaction to fear that defines us. They emphasized that we suffer more often in our imaginations than in reality. When we think back to those brave moments, we can draw strength from our past selves, reminding us of our innate resilience. To confront our fears, we must first identify what we're truly afraid of. It's not always the obvious, 
failure, rejection or loss. Sometimes fear manifests as the dread of the unknown or the anxiety of change. Start by asking yourself, what is the worst that could happen if I face this fear? When you evaluate your fears, you might find that they are more manageable than they seem. For instance, think about a time when you avoided a challenge only to realize later that it wasn't as daunting as you had imagined. By shining a light on these fears, you can begin to diminish their power. Once you've identified your fears, practice reframing them. Instead of viewing fear as a stop sign, consider it a green light for growth. Marcus Aurelius once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This mindset shift encourages us to see obstacles as opportunities. If you fear public speaking, view it as a chance to hone your communication skills. If you fear failure, recognize it as a stepping stone toward success. Facing fears often requires a gradual approach. Begin with small, manageable steps. If you fear confrontation, start by practicing assertiveness in low-stakes situations. If you dread networking, attend a small gathering instead of a large event. Each small act of courage builds confidence, reinforcing the understanding that you can handle more than you thought. The more you step outside your comfort zone, the more you expand it. Additionally, consider using visualization techniques. Imagine yourself successfully facing your fear. Picture the scenario in vivid detail. How you would feel, what you would say, and how others might react. This practice can help desensitize you to the fear, making the actual experience less intimidating. When you visualize your success, you prepare your mind for the reality, diminishing the anxiety associated with the unknown. In a world that often prioritizes comfort over growth, we must remember that embracing courage does not mean the absence of fear. It means taking action despite it. Each time you confront a fear, no matter how small, you cultivate resilience. These experiences become part of your narrative, reinforcing the understanding that you are capable of more than you initially believed. Let's bring this back to relatability. In our increasingly digital world, many of us fear being judged based on our online personas. The constant comparisons to others can create a paralyzing fear of not measuring up. Yet, recognizing that these feelings are universal can provide comfort. By sharing your fears with others, friends, family, or even online communities, you may find that you are not alone in your struggles. This collective experience fosters a sense of camaraderie, reinforcing that courage is not just an individual endeavor, but a shared journey. Facing fears is a lifelong practice. The more we confront our fears, the more we learn about ourselves. We discover our strengths, our vulnerabilities, and our capacity for growth. As we continue to navigate life's challenges, let us remember that fear is not a barrier but a guide. It leads us to the edges of our comfort zones, urging us to push forward. Number five, nourishing the body. Mindful eating practices. Eating is an experience we often take for granted. We consume meals in haste, distracted by our phones or the chaos of daily life. Yet there's a profound joy in truly nourishing our bodies, which begins with the simple act of mindful eating. Imagine the satisfaction of savoring every bite of a delicious meal, appreciating the flavors, textures, and even the company at the table. It's a moment filled with happiness, a time to connect with ourselves and those around us. As we delve deeper into mindful eating, nostalgia comes into play. Reflect on your childhood meals, those gatherings where the aroma of home-cooked food filled the air, Remember the laughter around the dinner table, the stories shared, and the sense of belonging. Those memories are rich with warmth and connection, reminding us of the deeper purpose behind food. The ancient Stoics understood that nourishment is not just about sustenance, it's about cultivating a relationship with what we consume. 
they advocated for moderation and appreciation, teaching that food should fuel our bodies and souls. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the importance of mindful eating. We often rush through meals or eat while multitasking, leading to mindless consumption. This can result in feelings of guilt or discomfort, a disconnect from the very nourishment we seek. To combat this, we must reclaim the practice of mindful eating. Start by slowing down during meals. Take a moment to appreciate the colors, aromas and textures of your food. Chew slowly, allowing the flavors to unfold. This practice not only enhances your enjoyment of food, but also fosters a greater awareness of your body's hunger and fullness cues. When it comes to mindful eating, quality is paramount. Think back to a time when you indulged in a truly satisfying meal made with fresh, wholesome ingredients. Contrast that with the feeling of consuming processed foods that leave you feeling sluggish. The Stoics believed that our choices reflect our values. By prioritizing quality over quantity, we nourish our bodies in a way that aligns with our principles. Consider incorporating more whole foods into your diet – fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins. Each meal becomes an opportunity to honor your body and cultivate a healthier relationship with food. Understanding the purpose of food is another crucial aspect of mindful eating. It's essential to recognize that food should be viewed primarily as nourishment, not just a source of pleasure. While enjoying food is certainly important, the Stoics cautioned against overindulgence. Reflect on how you feel after eating a large meal versus a balanced one. Mindful eating allows us to appreciate the pleasure of food without losing sight of its role in fueling our bodies. By shifting our perspective, we can cultivate gratitude for the nourishment we receive. In the midst of our modern challenges, such as the abundance of processed and fast foods, mindful eating becomes even more essential. Before you reach for a snack, pause and ask yourself, is this nourishing my body or am I simply satisfying a craving? This moment of reflection can empower you to make more conscious choices, steering you away from mindless consumption. Picture the positive impact of these choices, not only on your health, but on your overall well-being. Number six, addressing toxic relationships and memories. In our journey through life, the relationships we cultivate have a profound impact on our well-being. Picture a time when you felt uplifted by the presence of a supportive friend or family member. Their encouragement fueled your aspirations, creating a sense of happiness and connection. Yet, the opposite can also be true. Toxic relationships can drain our energy, leaving us feeling depleted and lost. The contrast between joy and pain in our interpersonal connections is a powerful reminder of the importance of surrounding ourselves with positivity. As we delve into the complexities of toxic relationships, nostalgia often emerges. Reflect on the relationships that have shaped your life, those filled with love, laughter and mutual support. Now think about the times you've experienced negativity or conflict. It's natural to feel a sense of longing for the connection we once had, but it's crucial to recognize when a relationship becomes detrimental to our mental and emotional health. The Stoics emphasized the importance of self-awareness and understanding the influence of others on our lives. By reflecting on our relationships, we can make more informed choices about who we allow into our inner circle. Identifying toxic relationships can be challenging, as they often masquerade as friendships or familial bonds. Signs of toxicity can include constant criticism, manipulation, or emotional exhaustion. As you reflect on your interactions, ask yourself, do I feel uplifted or drained after spending time with this person? This question can serve as a compass, guiding you toward healthier connections. It's essential to remember that you deserve relationships that nourish and empower you, rather than those that leave you feeling inadequate. 
Addressing toxic relationships requires courage. It's easy to remain in familiar patterns, even when they are harmful. The fear of confrontation or the potential loss of connection can be paralyzing. Yet, embracing the stoic principle of acceptance can provide clarity. Recognize that some relationships serve their purpose for a season, and it's okay to let go. Imagine the freedom that comes with releasing the weight of a toxic bond. This liberation allows space for healthier relationships to flourish. In navigating the process of letting go, consider the role of communication. If you feel safe doing so, express your feelings to the person involved. Use I statements to convey your experience without placing blame. For example, I feel overwhelmed when our conversations turn negative. This approach encourages constructive dialogue while maintaining your boundaries. However, if the relationship proves consistently harmful, it may be necessary to establish firmer boundaries or distance yourself entirely. As you move through this journey, nostalgia may arise as you remember the good times shared with the individual. It's important to honor those memories without allowing them to cloud your judgment. Reflect on the reasons that led you to question the relationship in the first place. By grounding yourself in reality, you can create a healthier narrative that allows you to let go of what no longer serves you. Number seven, pushing beyond comfort zones for growth. Growth rarely occurs within the confines of comfort. Picture a time when you stepped out of your comfort zone, whether it was giving a presentation at work, trying a new hobby, or engaging in a difficult conversation. Initially, that moment may have been filled with excitement and fear. Two emotions intertwined in the pursuit of growth. The happiness of a new experience can quickly be overshadowed by self-doubt, making it essential to navigate this delicate balance. As we reflect on our experiences, nostalgia plays a significant role. Think back to your first moments of stepping outside your comfort zone. Perhaps it was your first day at a new job or a challenging class you decided to take. Those moments are often marked by a sense of vulnerability, but they also hold the seeds of resilience. The Stoics understood that discomfort can be a powerful catalyst for personal growth. They taught that embracing challenges can lead to profound self-discovery and strength. When we push beyond our comfort zones, we confront our fears head on. Fear of failure, judgment or the unknown can hold us back from pursuing our passions. However, it's crucial to reframe our perspective on failure. Instead of viewing it as a setback, see it as a valuable teacher. Each time you take a risk, you learn something new about yourself and your capabilities. Reflect on a time when you faced a setback and how it ultimately led to personal growth. Those lessons are invaluable, shaping the person you are today. To cultivate the habit of stepping outside your comfort zone, start with small, manageable challenges. If public speaking terrifies you, consider joining a local group or practicing in front of friends. If you fear initiating conversations, make a commitment to engage with someone new each week. These small acts of courage build your confidence and create a foundation for larger challenges down the line. Moreover, consider the role of curiosity in this process. Embrace the unknown as an opportunity for exploration. Instead of viewing discomfort as something to avoid, approach it with an open mind. What might you discover about yourself in the process? This curiosity can transform your experience, turning fear into excitement. It's also essential to recognize that discomfort is a natural part of growth. The Stoics emphasized that challenges are not meant to break us, rather, they are opportunities for transformation. Each time you push beyond your comfort zone, you expand your boundaries and redefine what is possible for you. Embrace the discomfort as a sign of progress. It's a signal that you're moving forward. As you navigate this journey, surround yourself with a supportive community. 
Share your goals with friends or family who encourage you to take risks. Engaging with others who have also pushed their boundaries can provide inspiration and motivation. Their stories of triumph over adversity can serve as a reminder that you're not alone in your journey. Additionally, consider the impact of reflection on your experiences. After pushing beyond your comfort zone, take time to assess what you learned. What worked well? What challenges did you face? This reflection not only reinforces your growth, but also prepares you for future endeavors. As you cultivate this practice, you'll find that stepping outside your comfort zone becomes less daunting and more rewarding. Number eight, embracing discomfort as a path to improvement. Discomfort often gets a bad rap. It's something we naturally avoid, seeking out comfort and familiarity. But what if we shifted our perspective? What if we saw discomfort as a necessary part of the journey toward improvement? Picture a time when you faced a challenge that felt overwhelming. A difficult workout, a complex project, or an uncomfortable conversation. The initial resistance might have felt insurmountable, yet emerging from that discomfort often leads to profound growth. Nostalgia can play a key role in this exploration. Think back to moments in your life when you faced significant discomfort, perhaps moving to a new city, starting a new job, or confronting a personal issue. Those experiences were likely filled with uncertainty and anxiety. Yet, looking back, you may recognize that they were pivotal moments that shaped your character. The Stoics emphasized the importance of embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. They taught that adversity can refine us, making us stronger and more resilient. To fully embrace discomfort, we must first acknowledge its role in our lives. Discomfort can manifest in various ways, physical, emotional, or mental. For instance, a challenging workout can push our physical limits, while an uncomfortable conversation can expose underlying tensions in our relationships. The key is to recognize that discomfort often precedes growth. When we lean into it, we open ourselves to new possibilities. One effective way to embrace discomfort is through intentional practice. Consider setting specific goals that challenge you to step outside your comfort zone. If you want to improve your public speaking skills, seek out opportunities to present, even if it feels daunting. If you wish to enhance your emotional intelligence, engage in conversations that require vulnerability. Each time you confront discomfort head-on, you build resilience and confidence, paving the way for further growth. Additionally, practice mindfulness to navigate discomfort. When faced with challenging situations, take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to feel the discomfort without judgment. Instead of resisting it, invite it in as a teacher. What is it trying to show you? This shift in perspective can transform your relationship with discomfort, turning it into a source of insight rather than a barrier. As you embark on this journey of embracing discomfort, remember that it's a process. Growth doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience and persistence. Celebrate small victories along the way. Each step outside your comfort zone contributes to your overall development. Reflect on your experiences, noting the lessons learned and the strength gained. This practice not only reinforces your progress, but also motivates you to continue pushing forward. In a world that often prioritizes comfort and ease, embracing discomfort becomes a radical act of self-growth. It invites us to challenge societal norms and redefine our boundaries. When we view discomfort as a pathway to improvement, we open ourselves to a richer, more fulfilling life. Number nine, engaging with modern challenges. Mindfully, in our fast paced world, modern challenges are ubiquitous. From the pressures of social media to the demands of work-life balance, it can be overwhelming to navigate daily life. As we engage with these challenges, it's essential to do so mindfully. 
allowing us to respond with intention rather than react with stress. Picture a moment when you felt completely overwhelmed, perhaps juggling multiple responsibilities or facing criticism online. The initial feeling may have been anxiety, but with mindfulness, that reaction can transform into clarity. Nostalgia often reminds us of simpler times when life felt less chaotic. Think back to moments when you were fully present, free from distractions. Those memories evoke a sense of peace and connection that can be challenging to find amidst modern chaos. The Stoics recognized the importance of presence, advocating for a mindful approach to life's challenges. They taught that while we cannot control external circumstances, we can control our reactions to them. To engage with modern challenges mindfully, begin by cultivating awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts and emotions as you navigate various situations. Notice when stress or anxiety arises. Acknowledge these feelings without judgment. This practice of self-awareness allows you to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Consider incorporating mindfulness techniques such as meditation or deep breathing exercises into your daily routine. These practices can help ground you, providing clarity amidst the chaos. Additionally, practice digital mindfulness. In an age of constant connectivity, it's easy to become overwhelmed by information. Take time to evaluate your digital habits. Are you mindlessly scrolling through social media, comparing yourself to others? Set boundaries around your screen time, allowing for moments of disconnection. Engaging mindfully with technology means recognizing when it serves you and when it detracts from your well-being. As you engage with modern challenges, focus on what you can control. The Stoics taught that our power lies in our response to external circumstances. Instead of dwelling on what you cannot change, redirect your energy toward proactive solutions. If you're feeling overwhelmed at work, assess your priorities and create a plan. Break tasks into manageable steps, allowing yourself to tackle challenges one at a time. Incorporating gratitude into your daily practice can also enhance your ability to engage mindfully. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you're thankful for, no matter how small. This practice shifts your focus from stresses to positive aspects of your life. When you cultivate gratitude, you create a buffer against the pressures of modern life, reminding yourself of what truly matters. Another essential aspect of mindful engagement is connection. In a world that often promotes individualism, seek out community and support. Share your challenges with trusted friends or family members. Engaging in open conversations can alleviate feelings of isolation and provide new perspectives. The act of sharing fosters connection, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. Moreover, consider the role of self-compassion in navigating modern challenges. It's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism, especially when faced with setbacks. Practice treating yourself with kindness and understanding, recognizing that challenges are part of the human experience. Embrace the notion that it's okay to struggle and that growth often arises from adversity. As you engage mindfully with modern challenges, remember that it's a journey, not a destination. Each step you take toward mindfulness contributes to your overall well-being. Celebrate your progress and don't be too hard on yourself during difficult moments. By embracing mindfulness, you empower yourself to navigate life's complexities with grace and resilience. Number 10. Commitment to continuous growth and stoic principles. Life is a journey of continuous growth and the commitment to personal development is a powerful driving force. Picture a moment when you made a conscious decision to invest in yourself, whether it was pursuing a new skill, embarking on a new career path, or simply seeking greater self-awareness. Initially, that choice may have brought happiness and excitement, 
but it often requires perseverance and dedication to see it through. As we explore the commitment to continuous growth, nostalgia can remind us of the transformative moments in our lives. Think back to a time when you pursued a passion or overcame a challenge. Those experiences are often marked by a sense of fulfillment, reflecting the importance of growth in our lives. The Stoics believed that the pursuit of knowledge and self-improvement is a lifelong endeavor. They taught that true wisdom lies in recognizing our limitations and striving to transcend them. To commit to continuous growth, it's essential to cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace the idea that your abilities can be developed through effort, learning and persistence. When faced with obstacles, view them as opportunities for growth rather than as setbacks. This mindset shift can transform your relationship with challenges, encouraging you to embrace them with enthusiasm. Setting clear goals is a vital component of this commitment. Identify areas in your life where you wish to grow, whether it's in your career, relationships or personal interests. Break these goals down into actionable steps, allowing yourself to track your progress along the way. The act of setting goals creates a roadmap for your journey, guiding you toward your desired outcomes. Additionally, seek out opportunities for learning. This commitment can take many forms, enrolling in a course, attending workshops, or simply reading books that inspire you. The Stoics emphasize the importance of knowledge as a tool for growth. By expanding your understanding of the world, you equip yourself with the skills needed to navigate challenges and seize opportunities. Self-reflection is another powerful practice in your commitment to growth. Regularly assess your progress, acknowledging both your successes and areas for improvement. Reflect on your experiences what worked well, what challenges did you face. This practice not only reinforces your growth, but also allows you to adapt your approach moving forward. In the pursuit of continuous growth, it's crucial to foster a sense of curiosity. Approach each experience with an open mind, eager to learn and explore. Curiosity drives innovation and creativity, inspiring you to push beyond your comfort zone. Embrace the unknown, recognizing that it's often where the most profound growth occurs. Moreover, surround yourself with individuals who inspire and support your growth journey. Seek out mentors, peers or communities that share your passion for development. Engaging with others who are also committed to growth creates a positive feedback loop, encouraging you to stay motivated and accountable as you commit to continuous growth, remember the stoic principle of resilience. Life will undoubtedly present challenges and setbacks along the way. Embrace these experiences as integral parts of your journey. Rather than allowing adversity to deter you, let it fuel your determination. Each setback can serve as a lesson, providing valuable insights for your future endeavors. Ultimately, the commitment to continuous growth is a lifelong journey. Embrace the understanding that growth is not a destination, but a way of life. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and remain open to the possibilities that lie ahead. By embodying the principles of Stoicism and prioritizing personal development, you empower yourself to navigate life's complexities with resilience and purpose. As we wrap up this exploration of stoic principles and personal growth, remember that every step you take outside your comfort zone is a testament to your strength and commitment. Drop a comment below. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far. This shows you're part of that elite 0.01% who actually sees things through to the end. Your journey doesn't stop here. It's just the beginning. If you're truly serious about transforming your life, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue this journey of growth and empowerment, supporting one another as we embrace challenges and cultivate resilience. Your best self is waiting.
Let's go find it.